Hey guys, hello and welcome to a brand new series, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on d Mike Plays. Thought I'd help warm up your cold winter months with a nice tropical game. Potentially live in a place where that doesn't matter. As the kids say these days, where I'm at at least, it is cold AF. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Start up a new game. So this game was originally created for the Wii U back in like the early 2010s. It was ported to the Switch not too long ago, and in this game could be considered a quality of life thing or a made to be a little bit easier for new audiences. They added something called Funky Mode. Funky Mode has you playing as Funky Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series, and I would say it's essentially easy mode. So you can play as Donkey Kong, you can play as Funky Kong. I will play as Funky Kong once, but that's just for reference. We're gonna go ahead and do funky mode so that way I can use it. We're gonna start off single mingle mode and we will begin the game as Donkey Kong. All right, everybody, it's time to get crazy. I'm not entirely sure how we wind up in this plane or shooting out of the sky, but that's okay. Hope you guys are ready for a crash landing. And here's the star of the show, Donkey Kong in the flesh, or I guess I should say in the fur. We're gonna take a trip over here. Grab our first collectible of the game, the iconic red life balloon, and see a throwback to the original game for the Wii, Donkey Kong Country Returns, the first installment made by Retro Studios way back when. The precursor to this game. Here's another Donkey Kong staple, Bananas. Love a nice banana. Here is another collectible. I'm going to be saying that a lot. This game loves them. It is quite the fan. That's kind of what Donkey Kong Country games are about, collectibles. There's quite a few in this game. That one that you saw was the puzzle piece, or I will probably refer to as bridge pieces accidentally. All over the place. Puzzle pieces. There will be at least one per, per level. I missed that episode. This episode's all about misspeaking. And here's another one, the main coin. There'll be at least one puzzle piece, and if you collect all of them in a level, you'll get some nice artwork per stage. Pretty cool. We saw a banana coin. That is the currency of this game. You can use that at shops to buy yourself some doodads and huzzamawats. Pretty nice. They're pretty easy to come by, so don't feel bad if you don't, if you don't find yourself collecting all of them in a stage. They're not required. Nothing like that. But anyway, for now, we're just hanging out. Just us and Donkey Kong exploring this first level. This game is so colorful and fun. The music is wonderful as per usual. David Weiss coming back with Rare in his back pocket, having made some great soundtracks in the early goings of the Donkey Kong series. So I'm glad they were able to bring him back. He definitely has a good ear for compositions that are really fitting for this type of game. And this game is not short for things that are nice and pleasing to the ears. Here is the first encounter with the Banangel. I'm not entirely sure if that's what this is called, but it's a banana with wings. Funny enough, historically, angels don't actually look like that. I'm not entirely sure where we got the idea that it was some human with halos and and wings and auras and all kinds of weird stuff like that. I read accounts from different types of literature that said that angels were actually all kinds of weird shape-shifty looking things that had all kinds of scary connotations and things associated with them. So thankfully we have kindness in the angels in our lives. So here's our buddy. We have DK and Diddy hanging out. Uncle and nephew. A lot of people think that it's his son. It is not. Not entirely sure the relationship between Diddy and Dixie. I want to say they are the Kong partners from Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo. I want to say that they're cousins or maybe brother and sister. I'm very confident about being able to correct people about Donkey Kong and Diddy, but I have no clue about the rest, so you'll have to forgive me or don't. So there's that. And then in the Donkey Kong Country 3, it was Dixie and Baby. 
I don't know if that's her younger brother or cousin. So this game is just all kinds of hard to follow. But anyway, back to this one in particular. There's a lot of collectibles. There's a lot of new mechanics that have been added to this game. Swimming is one of them. That wasn't really something you could do in the previous Donkey Kongs. These kind of bouncy platforms are pretty new as well. What's not new though? Kong letters. That is a thing of the past and the present. So Kong letters when collected, all four of them, K-O-N-G. You will net yourself a life as well as a special surprise if you can get everyone from every level. So we'll try to do that. I'm going to try to collect everything if possible. All the puzzle pieces to show off some art. We'll do our best. So, fingers crossed that I don't screw it up. There's a good chance that I will because I'm not amazing at these games, but I will try. For the fans, my only fans. So here's our first introduction to some blasty barrels. That's an iconic part of Donkey Kong Country. It's very traumatic if you've played some of the earlier Donkey Kong countries with the barrel blast sections. They're quite tricky, but that's okay. We'll make it through, I promise. These games also introduce these weird little levers that you have to pull out of the ground. I'm not entirely sure why. Those are all over the place, but they certainly are. As well as collectibles if you jump on multiple enemies. So three enemies in a row, nets you a banana coin, which is pretty useful. I feel like I'm doing a whole lot of explaining, but that will fall off as time goes on. There isn't really as much to say as we explore more. The mechanics of the game are all pretty well laid out after the first level. There are some things that are obviously going to be added as we play and we grow. But in general, the majority of the things that we're going to be doing, all pretty simple, very matter of fact. And... You'll just kind of see, I don't want to spoil everything, but part of Let's Playing also is queuing in your your viewers as to what's happening. Try not to mansplain it, please. All right, so here's a tricky little part that we have to do. We gotta collect all these bananas from these pigs, and you gotta be quick. You can't, you can't dilly-dally if you want to get the prize. So we're gonna try to do that. Oh, I missed some. Oh, missing, missing bunches, oh boy. Okay. So we'll have to come back and get that one, that's okay. That's actually pretty tough to do. It's actually one of the things that I feel is a lot easier to do when you have somebody else to help you. I wouldn't say that for the entire game, but having a second person join you in this specific instance definitely will benefit you. I think that actually was a, a puzzle piece. So I will have to come back and grab that one, which is not a big deal. I will probably do that off screen. No need to show you my... Oop, that was not what I wanted to do. Great! We are doing excellent. This part of the game actually was programmed to uh, make me look like a fool. So, I love that. We've got certain enemies in this game that when they are jumped on, they don't, they don't die because they got helmets on. But you can bonk them, and when you do that, you can throw them around. So that's pretty fun. We like that. Welcome to the first of the bonus stages. These are all just about collecting bananas. You gotta collect all of them within the 30 second time frame. If you do, you'll net yourself a puzzle piece. You gotta be careful in these though, because it's not just about collecting bananas as the challenge. Getting the actual puzzle piece at the end, which should be simple, and something that a child could do, is something that I failed at many times. So thankfully, I didn't mess it up that time. But will I? Probably. And when you mess up a a banana bonus, you only get one shot per level. So if you want to do it again, you have to go all the way back to where you found it and start over. So it's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. I guess it's encouragement to just be perfect. So if you can't be perfect, why even play? What's the point? So hopefully you guys are enjoying this new series. I decided to play this because Pokemon, while it's fun, it is a little samey and I wanted to get back to my platformings. You guys know that I love platformers, and I think that they're one of my favorite genres of games. So hopefully you guys enjoy them too. 
it's a lot of fun. This is definitely a top five game for me on the Wii U. I mean, I guess I would say also on the Switch too because of when it came out. So you might, oop, you might be tempted to just hit that finish barrel, but that is not what we're gonna do. We'll have to come back and grab the other two puzzle pieces another time. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get that DK, which comes right after the coin. If I could time it right here. Okay. So I actually think that this would be a good opportunity. I won't do this off screen this time, but I'm gonna do it this time because I missed a couple of those those puzzle pieces. This will be a good opportunity for me to show off funky mode. Grab those last two puzzle pieces before we move on to the next stage. Hopefully we won't have to do this too often. But we got basically everything except for that. So if you go into options, you go into Kong Select, you can switch to funky mode. So here we go. Funky has five hearts and doesn't take damage when you land on most spikes. After a first jump, you can jump again in midair. You can slow your fall by holding the jump button. You can also roll and corkscrew as much as you want and breathe underwater too. So this is basically, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to say easy mode. If you want a little bit more of a challenge using Donkey Kong and the partners is more fun, you only get Funky Kong when you play this way. So I'm not going to go out of my way to cheese it. I just want to show this off one time here with Mr. Senor Funky Kong. So here we go, in the flesh, on his surfboard. When you fire up the game, you will see that uh, Funky Kong's status screen, every time that you use Funky Kong for a mission, his <laughs> he's also wearing scuba gear, I think that's great. That looks like that's a uh, snorkel. That's a nice old touch. But anyway, Funky Kong, when you use Funky Kong, the, I guess, file select screen will be a, it'll be a surfboard. I could not come to the conclusion of what I was trying to say to save my life. But if you do gather all the letters and puzzle pieces successfully, what you will gain are invisible versions. So just be mindful of that. That's kind of what you, that's kind of what you'll get. That lets you know that you already got it, so you don't have to do it again as I run into stuff. But yes. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself look like an idiot because I'm saying it's easier mode and then I'm just I'm just goofing over here, you know? Not doing my best. So we're just gonna keep going through playing. This is This is definitely I would say easier. I mean, he has a double jump, which in and of itself is kind of cheesing the game a little bit. It's not too bad. But yeah, using Funky is your choice if you want to play in that way. If you think the game's a little bit too challenging, go for it. Play the game your way. Whatever makes you happy, whatever fun you have. It also helps you to explore a little bit. So when you play as Funky in this game, it will let you potentially reach some spots like up here that I missed. This is definitely pretty helpful if you hop up here, get yourself a puzzle piece. So there's one. But yeah, as you play, there are no animal buddies. Animal buddies. <laughs> They're all animals. There are no bo- oh. There are no buddies, and see, you don't even take damage from spikes. So that does seem kind of cheap, but it is what it is. And you can just kind of endlessly corkscrew underwater. Whereas with the other Kongs, there's a little bit of a, I would say, Kind of a refractory period where you have to stop you got to recalibrate you just can't do all the things that you think you're you're gonna do whenever you want to do them kids these days always just trying to do things whenever they want to do it you got to take a break so yeah i'm gonna try not to cheese this by getting prizes that i wasn't initially entitled to so i'm gonna try to skip stuff if i can don't want to be unfair. This is just me trying to save face for missing the two initial puzzle pieces, but having a chance to show off Funky is also useful. Why not? He deserves his time in the spotlight, briefly. 
He served a purpose in the original Donkey Kong Country games where he would kind of help you to get back to places you were initially. So he was kind of the fast travel service, we'll say that. All right, so let's see if we can do this correctly the first time. This is just a little tricky, getting back and forth across to where all the pigs are throwing the bananas. So hopefully we can do this correctly, position ourselves in the right spot. You just can't let the bananas fall off the edge. You gotta collect them before they can fall off. Hopefully we can do it. Using your roll really helps. And we did do it. We get the puzzle piece. We get the celebration. Those are some happy hams. Just like me. But yeah. So other than that, we're just gonna breeze through the rest of this level. I know for a fact that when people speed run through this game, Funky is typically the Kong of choice just because he has so many benefits. So you can just speed through it. And we'll grab the life for good measure. So that was pretty cool, right? Very nice. And we get the bonus art, the image unlocked. Funky and his big old smile. So that was level one of the Lost Mangroves. Feeling pretty good about that. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, just because I'm going to forget if I don't, I'm going to switch back to DK. And then next time, we're going to take on level 1, 2, Shipwreck Shore. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Hopefully you guys enjoy this new series. I'm going to try to do this about maybe once a week or so and see how people like it. So I'll see you next time for more Donkey Kong Country. Bye.